Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to be installing the next two copper scuppers. As you've seen, I'm drying off the roof up here. I kind of spread out the water a little bit and it still has some drying to do, so I have other work to do. I'm going to be putting foam on the other side of the building and that'll be a different video so look for that. Then in just minutes I'll come back and start installing these scuppers. Okay I got this door off. I had this sealed up as well. I had that panel wedged up against the opening there to keep the heat in here because it got 31 degrees last night and I had a heater going back here and I had that heater going on uh, aimed up under the scupper all night because that scupper is already installed and has water under it maybe it, the water might be gone by now so I gotta plug that back in I had you know this was just blasting for hours and it's really toasty warm in here I'll put this back on this and as soon as it's dry up there I gotta get them scuppers in so let's get this plugged in and I'll check back in when it's time to put the scuppers in okay here is the flashing for the scuppers this is actually used for a lot of different areas up there hopefully I have enough this is 12 inches by 25 feet I think and I'm going to use a good deal on the scuppers themselves. Here's my plan for doing them. I need two 12 by 12 chunks and two 6 by 24 chunks per scupper. So I need six 12 by 12 and six 12 by 20 or six 6 by 24. Yeah, there's not going to be a whole lot left, but it is what it is. The scuppers are by far the most important thing right now. So let's get going and get these flashed in.
Okay, that's one done. I described beforehand what I did, but unfortunately, I had the camera in time-lapse mode, so that didn't work out. So what I have is two 12 by 12 pieces with two of the corners rounded, which go one on either side. The rounded corners go out and they're just put in like that. I believe that potential leaks are much more likely to be, I got a bubble here. Yeah, I don't know if I waited, if I uh, did this too fast, put it on too fast, but according to the instructions, as soon as it's um, not tacky anymore, you know, pulling strings up, it's ready to go, and that's the way it was. So hopefully these little blisters like this will go away. But anyways, um, water puddles down in here. So I think it's more likely to leak along the bottom edge than anywhere else. So I have the most of the overlap here. I just used a full 12 inch piece, so that gives me a whole lot out here. So I should be able to catch it, you know, if I check these often enough, I should be able to catch it if it starts peeling off way before it gets all the way to here. In here, it, it can go from here to here as well. So I'll have to watch that as well. So I got two of these on there and then this is the least likely place it's going to leak on the top here because it's on a vertical surface. It's not going to be wet very long whenever it does get wet. And there's going to be a termination bar up at the top. So if, if it leaks up there, then, then the rest of the roof is it's going to leak through this as well. So, and then down here, same thing, 6 by 24, all the corners rounded, same with this one. And this one, water comes down roof, but it doesn't stay, you know, like puddled right here. So this actually gives it a fairly nice little path to get to the scupper. And it seals off. I don't have any uh, double edges, which is, you know, if I put this rounded edge right over this one, I think it's more likely to leak. So... Hence, I got these uh, staggered like that. I think it's I think it's a good plan, but who knows? I you know I don't do rubber roofs for a living, so it is what it is. I'm gonna come back and roll it again after I do the next one. I gotta really hurry. I don't have a whole lot of time. It's almost three o'clock, and I have to leave at four forty-five. So I might only get one more done but that's okay as long as as long as i get it done once i start it as long as i get it done that's great if i don't start the next one then that's fine too it, it'll be easy enough to do tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be nice out i just can't have them open in the rain with with the metal on in the rain because that was that was kind of a nightmare getting this dried out okay so i'm gonna pop the scupper in that one nail it in and get that one flashed in and i'll see how much time i have left
Okay, that wraps it up. Got all three scuppers in, got all three scuppers flashed, and I really need to get out of here fast. Jump in the shower and head, I think it's 40, 45 miles to a town nearby to watch Natalie play volleyball. So I'm gonna sign off. Tomorrow I'll be finishing up the styrofoam on the exterior and possibly start on the furring. We got good weather for a few days, rain tonight, but good weather for a few days. So hopefully I can wrap up this exterior. So if you wanna see that stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon so you're notified when I post new videos. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. I generally answer them all. And if you share this video and give it a like, that would help the channel greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.